going on cam fam how are you guys doing hopefully you guys are doing well and today is a different style of video <coughs> excuse me i usually don't do these uh type of sit down uh videos and all that as you guys know you've been watching me for a while now i always film car meets but car meets are slowing down at the moment because of the bad weather that's coming and you know just nobody wants to host during the bad weather so uh i put a poll on instagram on my stories asking you guys what type of videos you guys would like to see when there is no car meets going on. And I asked you guys to give me some suggestions. And there was just a bunch of you guys that wanted to uh, give your opinion and suggestion on what I should do. And today, I thought I saw one that specifically stood out to me and I thought would be really cool to make. So today, I'm going to be reviewing, or not really reviewing, but it's, uh, rating your guys' car slash build. So uh, without further ado... Let's see how well this video goes. I don't know how it's going to turn out. So hopefully it turns out good. Better than I expect. But uh, if it goes good, maybe we can do this. We can do a series on this. Like maybe this will be part one. If you guys like this, then we can do like a part two, three, four, whatever. I also want to do like, excuse me, rating your guys' like drifts or burnouts or revs or something like that. I keep looking at the screen, not the camera. Um, but uh, I want to do... I want to switch up a little bit, uh, not only just like rating you guys the cars, but like rating your like drifts or whatnot or, you know, whatever. So also I'm open to suggestions. If you guys have any other uh, suggestions, comment them down below. Uh, I'm open to suggestions. So uh, let's see how well this goes. So without further ado, let's get in. Oh, but, um, so also before we even get started, uh, I'm using my laptop so that way I can look at my dms of your guys's photos so that way you can so you guys get a real raw reaction of me i've not opened them yet so that way when i go back and edit i'll just pull them off of uh instagram from my phone and you know that way it all works out perfectly so uh, i have a bunch of dms from you guys so i have not opened them yet so that way you guys get to see my raw reaction and you get to see what i have to say so let's get started all right so first up we have pdx.brandy I think that's her username actually let me check yeah pdx.brandy so uh she actually uh submitted two cars which is pretty dope so let's take a look at the first one the first one is a come on enlarge come on why aren't you enlarging all right well uh i'll just leave it like it is but uh the first one is a taggy so it's a white Integra that you guys can see with uh, pink wheels. It looks like she has heart-shaped wheels, which is cool. I wish it would enlarge, but um, it's not wanting to cooperate with me. It's wanting to give me some attitude. Um, but that is super sick. I love the Integras. Those are so cool. I always wanted one as a kid. Uh, so the wheels really complement the car. Uh, if I can see, if I'm looking at it correctly, it looks like she has a pink badge as uh, on it as well to match the wheels, but uh, super cool. And then uh, she has another picture that she submitted of a Honda S2K, a red S2K with uh, bronze wheels. I don't know what type of wheels they are. Why is this not wanting to uh, enlarge? Oh, well, um, can't tell if it's carbon uh, roof or not. Uh, it's hard to tell. But it's a hard top, is what it looks like. Um, man, I, I would be able to tell if I could enlarge it, but it's not wanting to work. Um, but yeah, so PX Brandy, she has some pretty cool cars. Um, her taggy. Uh, by the way, don't uh, don't take it personal if I give you a low rating. It doesn't really mean anything. It's just you know whatever. It's just that for fun and for shits and giggles, you know. So um, her taggy. A lot of them, a lot of them are usually crashed and dented up and everything. Hers seems to be in pretty good shape from what I can see. Uh, so I'm going to give that a 6 out of 10. And then her S2K, uh, her S2K is pretty clean too. I love the S2Ks. Um, her S2K I'm going to give, I'm also going to give a 6 out of 10. So Brandy, really nice rides. Uh, thank you for submitting it. So let's move on to the next one. All right, this next one is from Eric.350Z. Really clean 350Z. Um, really, really subtle and sleek looking. Uh, I don't know if it's stock. Uh, the front bumper is not stock, I can tell you that. Um, but it looks like maybe it's a Nismo bumper, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, wheels look like they're stock. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's a really, really clean 350. 
Uh, again, you know, a lot of the 350s nowadays are used for like drift sluts. So, you know, they're usually built not the best and you know, it's kind of like, they're all kind of like raggedy looking. Uh, but this one is really, really clean. I, I like the looks of this one. Uh, the side splitters really complement the car too. Um, I like the front bumper a lot too, how it has the built-in front lip splitter, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a different color. He two-toned it so it would break up the silver. Really nice car. I am going to give this one an 8 out of 10. Uh, Eric, you got a really clean 350, man. That That's really clean. So I uh, don't know if you're planning on doing anything else to it. If you're going to, uh, well... I shouldn't assume that you haven't done anything to it because I don't know what's under the hood. Your hood's not open, but who's to say you haven't done anything to it already? But uh, if you haven't, hopefully you do a cool build on it and hopefully you make it quick. Uh, I absolutely love the 350s. I miss having a VQ engine. I had a G35. So uh, yeah, really clean. Uh, let's move on to the next one. All right. And this submission is from Derek or his Instagram handle is at DC5DDEE -E, if you guys want to check him out. He has submitted three photos of his RSX and the thing about these RSXs is, is I've always I not I've always but I always wanted one when I was a kid I thought they were super cool um and uh it's they were always super cool to me and I always liked them uh and if you guys don't know I don't even know I just know very little about these cars but um there are some that have different style of headlights and a different style bumper so these ones have this one specifically he has the one that i always wanted because uh i'll put a picture of the one that i'm not too fan uh, too big of a fan of but uh the headlights and bumpers if you guys can see on derek's is uh it goes straight across uh, i don't know how to explain it but it's very hard to try and put into words but as the other one that you guys can see it has like little uh, divots in the bumper for the headlights. Uh, I always liked the ones that didn't have the divots in the bumper for the headlights. But uh, Derek's car, uh, I can't tell what's done to the engine. Again, my laptop won't zoom in. Uh, or actually, no, nah, yeah, it, it won't. Uh, it won't click on the picture for some stupid reason. That's what I get for having an old laptop, I guess. But um, it looks like it's uh, pretty well built. Uh, from what I can see, I could be wrong, um, but I always like these cars a lot. Uh, looks like it could be boosted. I don't know if that's the radiator or if that's a intercooler. It looks like it could be an intercooler, um, and it's just I can't tell. I think those are Inkai wheels or Inky. I don't know how you I don't know how you pronounce that name, but really clean car, really clean RSX. Um, I'm gonna give that one an eight out of ten. All right, so I figured out why I wasn't able to enlarge the photos is because I was looking at messages that were in my request and I didn't accept them into my primary. So that would be why I wasn't able to get a closer glance. But now all these uh, pictures that you guys are going to see are in my primary. So I'm able to click on them to get a closer look. So this uh, submission is from uh, at E46 Hell and he has submitted photos of his e46 and uh again i can't really tell what's done under the hood because he didn't send any pictures of his engine bay but from what i can tell on the outside really well put together uh love the wheels uh looks like his bump bumper is a different color uh, either it's an aftermarket one or he just got a replacement but uh usually bmws from this era i'm not a big fan of i like the newer models um, but this one is really clean. I actually, I like looking at this one. It's really, really clean and really well put together. So I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. So, all right. So next up we got Kelsey and her Instagram is clout underscore CG one. And this one is really interesting. I've actually seen her and her car in person at the street stars Dutch brothers meet. And it's a J 32 six speed manual swap Honda Accord. And as you guys can see in the photo, uh, I'll insert a picture of, uh, I'll go to her account. Oh, actually, there's a picture of her uh, engine bay right here, but it's really, really well done. I love, love the blue accent. Um, I love how she did every single bolt on her valve cover 
as the blue to accentuate uh, the other blue on her calipers because she has blue calipers as well. Uh, it's just a really, really clean car. Um, I'll put a picture of her wheels in here. Nice SSR wheels. Th that is super clean. She did say that she had those powder coated as well. Beautiful car. Um, I see nothing absolutely wrong about this car. Not that there's wrong anything wrong with uh, the other cars I've already rated, but um, this one is just beautifully put together. Uh, perfect amount of tuck. Not too much camber. It's just really well done. So I give this one a 10 out of 10 for sure. All right, and next up, we got a submission from Corey Scott, and his Instagram is strmym6. I think it's supposed to say Stormy M6, correct me if I'm wrong, if you happen to stumble across this video, Corey, but uh, he submitted a photo of his Mazda 6 Sport, and this one actually hits home because I had a Mazda 6 Sport as well, except his is 2003, mine was a 2008, uh, mine came with all leather interior, I don't know what his is, obviously, because he doesn't have interior shots that he submitted, but um it, it's really clean uh, it's on wheels i don't know what wheels they are i'm on his profile i can't see what wheels they are he doesn't have any close-up shots but um again really well put together i absolutely love the mazda 6s it was a super nice car that i uh i liked uh i actually totaled mine two weeks after i bought it because i thought i could keep up with my buddy who had a 350z and my other buddy who had a Nissan Altima six-speed manual, which both of them are 3.5 liter engines. And my car was a 2.3 or 2.5 liter, I can't remember. But as you can imagine, I wasn't able to keep up. So I took a exit off I-84 onto Swan Island, exit 300C, I still remember it to this day. Uh, I understeered, put it into the wall, and that was actually my very first car accident that I have ever been in. It was with my own brand new car uh, and unfortunately I wasn't able to restore it. It was just done for. So then that's when I got my Honda Civic that none of you guys know about because I never went to any car meets or posted about it. But anyways, back to the Mazda 6. Corey, you have a really nice Mazda 6. I absolutely love these cars. They're really fun to drive. Um, I love the sport shifters on them. Um, I don't know what's done to your engine. But as far as I can see on the outside, it's just really, really nice and really clean. I love that gunmetal gray color. I had that same color as well. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. So thanks for the submission, Corey. All right. And this one, we have a submission from 05350Z. Uh, and his Instagram is at slowboyboi350Z. He's actually the, the owner of Sending It Media. He's always showing love and always sharing my flyers and everything i tag him in so a shout out to you man thank you for showing love and support appreciate it uh but he has a really gorgeous uh 350z as you guys wow i said that weird um my tongue's tired it needs to go to sleep as well apparently um has a really nice purpley plum maroon wrap on it or it could be paint i don't know um with nice white wheels i don't know the brand of wheels i can't really tell he doesn't have any close-up shots of the wheel so i can't make out the brand on the center cap um but it is a really gorgeous car another gorgeous 350z excuse me he has uh halo headlights as you guys oh well that's not uh a photo that's a video a link to his in, uh youtube <laughs> but in the uh thumbnail of his youtube video i can see he has halo lights which is really sick i absolutely love halo lights um, I'll just pull a uh, photo from his Instagram so that way you guys can see um, but um, as you guys can see it's just really really clean and really well put together um, absolutely love the 350Zs my buddy Jake had one unfortunately he had to get rid of it but you know what better things are to come so yeah really clean car man thank you for the submission I'm gonna give this one a 9 out of 10 all right, and this uh, submission is from Jacob, St Jacob Stoffer. Wow, I am having a very hard time speaking today. Apparently, I'm very tired. I don't know why. Uh, you'd think speaking would be fluent for me because I do this for you guys, so you'd think I would know how to speak. <laughs> but 
Uh, he has submitted a photo of his Evo 8 or Evo 9. I don't know uh, how to tell the difference, but uh, really clean Evo. I always loved the Evos when I was a kid. There's a lot of cars I've loved since I was a kid, or when I was a kid. Um, but uh, really clean Evo. Uh, don't know what kind of brand of wheels they are. Uh, I can only assume it's a aftermarket front bumper because it has a built-in lip or um, splitter. I don't know what you would call it. Uh, but I've seen his car in person. It's really clean. So I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. All right. And this submission is uh, going to be the last one because I have a bunch more. But I don't want this video to be too terribly long. So uh, I might do part two if you guys like this video. So uh, let me know if you guys want me to continue and put the rest of you guys that I didn't get in next video. So this last one is from Slow Roses and uh, I, if I remember right, his name is Gage and he submitted a photo of a beautiful M5. Uh, I love the M5s a lot. Uh, I'm more a fan of the M3s just because they're not so long. But the M5s are dope as well. Uh, he did send in a video of him doing a flyby and his exhaust sounds pristine. Uh, lots of pops and crackles. But uh, as you guys can see, it's a beautiful, beautiful gunmetal gray color. Uh, stock wheels, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like, it's a, it, looks like it has stock wheels. Um, check out the back end. Yeah, so it still looks pretty stock. Um, I don't know what's done engine-wise, uh, but really clean BMW. I'm gonna rate that at a eight out of ten. So Gage, if that was, if this is your M5, beautiful car. I love the M5s and just the whole BMW lineup. But um, yeah, so that's gonna be it for the video. Uh, hopefully, you guys like the rate my followers or rate your guys's builds slash cars. Uh, I definitely would love to do this again. Uh, it's a bit weird as you guys can tell because I don't usually do sit down videos and just hide myself behind the camera without being out in public because that's all I'm actually known for is being out in public where you guys see me and I get to see the cars in person. So it's definitely kind of different, but uh, I guess, you know, different is good. <laughs> just something I'll have to get used to. So um, yeah, if you guys want me to do a part two, please comment down below please like and uh, subscribe. So just let me know what you guys thought. Uh, if there's anything that I could improve on, which I'm sure there's a quite a bit of quite a bit of things I could improve on. One being my speech, learning how to speak. Um, but this was, like I said, it was just different. So um, yeah, I don't know, really know what else to, uh, what to throw at you guys. So without, oh my goodness, I'm going to go to sleep. But without further ado, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please smash the thumbs up button. Do not forget to subscribe. And like I said, let me know if I should do a part two. So uh, as always, I will catch you guys in the next video. Be safe, be kind, and yeah. So peace.